Hey everyone, welcome back to the Beast Studio. I'm here today with a brand new video for you guys. I'm going to be giving my review over the new movie uh, Jingle Jangle, and I'm here with my um, friend from church, Paige Langender, for thank you for joining me. Hi, thanks for having me. So um, I noticed on, on your Facebook page that you um, were a big fan of this movie. Um, so um, when you watched it, um, well, like what? Um, what was your like overall thoughts before going into the movie? Um, it's just I love this time of year and the time and the movies that come out this time of year, and so I'm always just really excited to see what it was. Um, and this one was just different, and um, I was just really excited to see a different take on a Christmas story and um, something that the whole family could enjoy. Yeah. So, um, um, what did you think? So, like before going. So then when you finish the movie, what were your thoughts? Um, I just really liked the feeling of um, there's a lot of hope and magic and like wonder in the movie. And um, not only that, but like it showed that um, like Geronicus, he like had a fall and then he was able to redeem himself. So like you can in life, you can have hard times, but then you can also have um, come back from that and have great times. So I think it's a really um, beautiful story and motivational, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think that they took a good, um, I think they took took a good take. This is a musical um, and they do have some good songs, I would say, in there. Um, when it, I like the, I like it, like this movie where they can still have story involved. It's not just songs. Um, right. And um, I'd like watch Hamilton this summer and I thought it was good, but I feel like it's definitely good to have those have those moments because I think that you know a song a song tells a good story, but you know so does just simple simple dialogue. I think they did a good job with doing a good mix of that in this movie. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So you kind of already talked about like different like lessons like hope and um, wonder. So this movie really focused on uh, uh, Geronicus and. Um, he's like this like toy, he's like this adventure. And um, his uh, daughter, like she left and then, but her, his granddaughter was brought in, who's also an adventure. So um, this, mo this movie also brought a, um, like a, um, a toy shop type of style into it. So what do you think of like them, like choosing like that adventure route? Oh, I definitely loved it. And I loved that there was like a lot of, um, a lot of like, smart i don't know i don't know another word for it but i liked that the little girl was really smart and so she wasn't just like this ditzy princessy kind of girl and so it, hopefully like little kids watching it can think like oh yeah i want to be smart and i want to invent things and that's really fun too not just like playing dress up and all of that so i really like that aspect of it mm -hmm. i think that um i watched a lot of different movies that have like that like a toy shop aspect. And I think that it was interesting to kind of um, show that, like that, uh, show that um, grandfather, uh, granddaughter relationship and how they can have that same interest. And, you know, I think that um, Geronicus, like you said, he made, he made a mistake, but he was able to uh, fall back from it. And um, I think that they did a good job of, of um, showing that relationship throughout the, um, throughout the movie. Yeah. But the sets in general, I didn't really answer your question directly. The sets I loved. I thought everything was really cool. And like, um, like the, um, in his toy workshop, everything was really neat. How like it, he had a robot to, or not a robot, a machine to like put on his goggles and a machine to put on his apron. I just thought it was really cool. It reminded me of um, just, I can't even remember another movie like it. Maybe Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I think it's, it's probably too old for you, but but he was also an inventor and had really cool like little machines always going. And so I thought the set was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. The, there is good, um, the, they did do a good job of editing and everything, which I think is, it's, it's a good strength. It's a good strength for a movie to have. And I thought that um, as far as we, as far as actors go, um, some, um, the Forrest Whitaker's in this, and, um, so I know that you said that you, uh, wrote down, so did you recognize any of the actors in this movie? 
Yeah, the other one, I of course love Forrest Whitaker, and then um, the grandma that's reading the story is Felicia Rashad, and so this show is probably way too old for you, but I loved watching The Cosby Show when I was a kid, and so she's from The Cosby Show, and it was just kind of like this heartwarming little extra touch um, in the movie to see that she's back, and she's in a motherly role, and that was a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. I think that they did choose, um, even like the the young kids, I think they chose good, um, I think they go, chose good actors for it, and I think that everyone gave their heart out when they were singing, and it was overall, it was a very good, um, it was a very good musical, um, yeah. so we're, we're kind of, kind of like, so move on to like, so there are some spoilers, so what were, what were some moments that you liked in this film specifically? Um, so it just started out awesome. Like I love the song. It's called This Day. And so it was when the inventor got his final ingredient for his big invention. And so he breaks out into this big song and the whole cast is singing and dancing. And it really felt like you were at a play, like in an actual live production of a play. And so that's one aspect of the show that I really liked. It, it felt like you were in a theater somewhere watching a live play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, but other than that, the other ones I liked, like you said, the, the actors singing voices were great. So like Journey, the actress who played Journey, um, she sang the song Square Root of Possible, which I think is an adorable name anyway. Square, Square Root of Possible is just a cool concept. Um, but her voice was beautiful and she danced and she was just really cute. Um, and then a really fun part was the snow fight. I don't know if you really liked that one um, because she like had science and physics. It, it wasn't just like a silly snowball fight. It was like a scientific inventor snowball fight. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. um, so a few moments that I liked. I liked um, the square root possible, like you said. I liked, um, I liked the whole when Jeronicus's daughter came back. I thought that was a very powerful moment in that, you know, he wrote letters to yeah. her because he was too nervous to send them to her after everything that yeah. happened between them. He wasn't sure if he wanted to hear from her, um, which I thought that was, I thought that was good. And then the whole, I like the whole, um, uh, like, you know, um, uh, Gustafon, like he like stole um, Buddy. Was that the toy? Yes, the toy, yeah. I thought that was good. I think that, I think it's always kind of nice to see like a villain, yeah. a villain in the story. Um, and not like more like just like a, a fun villain and pretty much like all the like the adventure things I really liked and this is a good movie for anyone who likes uh, Christmas spirit and who likes like toy shop and um, so is there anything that you think the movie could have improved on? Um, honestly I can't really think of anything right now I mean it was just I loved it. It's one that I think is a classic and that I will plan to watch even not at Christmas because it, it is set during Christmas, but I think the story is very much, it could be any time of the year. So it's just inspirational and I really, really liked it. But one thing I didn't touch on that I really liked was the character, Miss Johnston. Do you remember her? She was like the postal worker. <laughs> so I just thought she was kind of like jazzy and funny. She added just like a little, little funny bit to the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I thought that um, I thought that scene with her and drawing kiss was pretty funny. Yeah, the beginning. Kept, yeah. That was kept fun. calling him Jerry. <laughs> and he was like really uncomfortable with that. Yeah. That was cute. Uh, I thought they chose, I thought they had good um, diversity. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, it was, um, it was all black people. I thought that was, I thought that was interesting because I don't know many, um, I don't know many uh, movies who have that so yeah there were not many films like that and I loved also that it wasn't that it was like everyone was successful and smart and so there wasn't like the stereotypical like any negative connotations of diversity it was just all like positive like everybody's smart and we can all work hard and be successful and so I loved all of that mm -hmm. and I thought that the um I thought that uh, Journey and her fr and her um, friend, I, I liked their little like mission together. Yes, they were very cute. And so that was one theme that I noticed, like in the beginning of the film, like everybody was like, I'm out for myself. Even um, Geronicus really was like, I'm gonna be the best toy maker in the world and I've got this awesome toy now. Um, even though it didn't work out for him, but he was really focused on himself and being the best. And then, um, Gustafson stole it and he was then focused on himself right and then so the story ends though with those two 
um, characters working together and then really the whole family working together. So it was turned into not just thinking about yourself, but thinking about others and working together to make something good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that this movie showed good lessons and it is for, I would say that it is for all ages. So anyone, anyone who wants to see a good uh, Christmas movie that has um, good lessons in it and of course good actors and good diversity, I think that this is the movie for you. I'm pretty sure it'll probably be one of my favorites. Christmas movies of 2020. And they are, they are make, I am glad that they were still able to make this movie. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if they made this before the pandemic. I don't think so. I think they, I'm not, I'm not sure when they started filming it. I'll look I'm not that sure. Um, but I think that it's nice to see movies, you know, still being released during the pandemic and a lot of Christmas movies, which I think is surprising. I didn't know if like a lot of Christmas movies would be uh, canceled, but they're still releasing them. And I thought it was, it was, I thought it was good to see. Yeah, it's nice. We all need like a little break from our reality, right? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, so any closing thoughts you want to say about this film? Um, I don't think so. But like you said, it, it's for everyone. I have a daughter who's three and a daughter who's five. And then myself, I'm almost 40. So like all ages, we loved it. And it's just fun and um, positive and encouraging. And I definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, so thank you for joining me. And yeah, we will <laughs> that you go. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. <laughs> we would suggest that you go check it out. It's on Netflix. And um, yeah, so it's a pretty fun movie. So anyways, I want to thank everyone for watching my studio. When you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn your post, post notifications to never miss a video. Thanks everyone for watching, and bye.